Another package from Moser Racing showed up the gaming van, so let's look it over. I'm Dan, this is my gaming van where I make sim racing videos and live stream other video games while traveling in the US. If you want to see where we end up for the next video, click subscribe, I'd appreciate it. This wheel may cost more than my wheelbase, but it's for good reason. I got the GS wheel a couple months ago. I'm not much of a track racer, let alone GT or F1 sort of stuff, so this is all completely new to me. Although this sticker won't show up in your GS box, if you want to support our travels and racing, you can order one of these stickers along with any of the first run of Dan's Gaming Van merch, t-shirts, potentially hoodies, from the link in the description. It's a big cartel website. You'll see the link down there. Back to the Moza talk, one thing I just want to point out is the quality of packaging is always top tier for Moza. They send out little Moza bags with the majority of their products, and that's something I always appreciate as a customer if you plan on ordering gs wheel or any moza product i do have an affiliate link in the description if you order through that link i get a small percentage it doesn't cost you more and it offsets my time to make these videos because of my road driving and drifting background before getting this wheel i would have never considered getting a wheel that wasn't circular the same way i wouldn't have considered getting a direct drive wheelbase before trying one and now i can't recommend ditching your logitech or thrustmaster enough for an entry level dd it's one of those things that you don't really know what you're missing out on until you know what you're missing out on the Moza GS is a high quality GT style racing wheel featuring Italian made Alcantara, forged carbon fiber framework and paddles. There are four of these paddles, two magnetic, two not. So you got two clutch pedals on the bottom and then two shifting paddles on the top. 10 illuminating buttons that can be tuned to use any color and tuned to do anything you would want in the game. And of course there's an LED RPM shifter light. This wheel will give you more out of your wheelbase that you're already invested into. I really can't explain the difference in strength and realism of the road feel along with just overall immersion that this wheel gives. But on simple terms, a smaller wheel with less leverage makes a wheelbase feel more powerful. That's why Thrustmaster only offers such small wheels. It makes less feel like more. That concept applies to the GS wheel heavily. I was so shocked when I did my first race with it. My wheelbase has never felt more powerful or direct. The Alcantara holds up incredibly well. I've used this wheel for a month or two, never wearing any gloves. The grips haven't deteriorated at all. Along with that, it never leaves any marks on my hands. Unlike my cheap suede Amazon wheel, which stains my hands every time I even come near it. Continuing on quality of materials, the forged carbon is so gorgeous. I was so shocked at how much TikTok just loves this wheel. It seems the carbon fiber is a different color every hour of the day, depending on how the light hits it. Speaking of lights, one of the things I loved about this wheel is being able to use it in a dark room with all the lights illuminated. It's probably the closest I'll ever get to being able to fly a UFO. All the buttons are programmable and the placement of the buttons and the joysticks couldn't be better for being able to use them while you're racing. Immersion is something that's really commonly talked about in sim racing. It's really hard to put into words through a video, but there's something about having your hands intertwined on a GT style racing wheel compared to a round wheel when you're on the track. It's just tough to explain. But I can assure you that you'll be as shocked about the feeling of a 300mm wheel as I was, as your wheelbase is going to feel twice as powerful as it might have with a big round wheel on it. Just a reminder, if you plan to order the GS wheel or anything Moza, you can use my affiliate link in the description. It doesn't hurt you at all, and it gives me some extra motivation to continue making content like this. If you at least just go click on the link, it shows Moza that I'm directing people to their website, even if you don't plan to order. And if you do order within 30 days after clicking that link, I still get credited, even if you don't go through that link, I think. But if you do plan to order and you go directly through that link when ordering, it will definitely make it most likely for me to get any sort of credit for that order. If this video has helped you in any way, drop a like. If you have any questions, drop a comment. If you want to see more sim racing gameplay and hardware reviews from Dan's Gaming Van, click the subscribe button. And if you want to keep up with our travels, you can follow us on all the other social medias where I post more frequently. I appreciate you guys watching the video to the end. If you put a smiley face in your comment, I'll know that you watched the video all the way to the end. Maybe I'll send some stickers out to people who comment smiley faces. But that's it. Appreciate y'all. Catch you in the next one.